Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 39. <laughs> Hey guys, um, first I want to talk about my subscribers. I have almost a thousand subscribers. Yay! <laughs> um, last time I checked, I think it was 949 or something like that. Almost 950. Um, that's so awesome. And welcome to everybody who's new. There's been a lot of new people in the last week or so. Um, I think because of the giveaway. <laughs> but um, welcome you all. I hope you uh, enjoy my videos. Uh, and, you know stick around <laughs> um i'm really appreciative to everybody you know it's it's making this whole experience a lot more fun <laughs> to actually have people watching me and communicating with me um yeah i don't know what to say it's just it's really cool to have that many people subscribe to me like i didn't ever think i didn't ever i didn't think that uh i'd have very many at all nonetheless almost a thousand people so that's really cool. I can't wait to hit a thousand and just see it. It's gonna be real neat to just see that number. But um, it seems really fast because I mean, it's not. I've not even been doing this for a year. I think it'll be a year in June or July. I'm not exactly sure when I started. I have to look. But uh, it's really cool. Um, and to the new subscribers, I've had a few uh, ask me questions. So I want to say. Right now, I'm doing crochet videos like this one where I talk about what I'm doing and what I plan on doing and stuff like that. And I also do um, crochet and chat videos, which is me crocheting and chatting with you while you crochet and, you know, listen. <laughs> um, but I do have in the works right now um, pattern tutorials that I'm going to be filming and putting up soon. And I'm also working on writing my own patterns. Now, it's going to take a while because I'm, I'm new to writing patterns. So I'm still kind of learning <laughs> the uh, the ropes of it. So it's going to be a while before I actually publish any patterns. And um, I'm hoping to film my first tutorial this weekend if I get uh, time to. It all depends on if I have someone to watch my son. <laughs> uh, for people who don't know, I have a two, well, almost two-year-old boy. His birthday is next Tuesday. May 1st is his birthday. We're having his party this, uh, this coming Sunday. So that's going to be all fun. But yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to say, but I am going to be working on tutorials. So I know a lot of people have asked me if I do tutorials or if I just do the talk videos. And right now I just do the talk videos, but I am working on tutorials. I just have to get the right set up and hopefully I'll have it set up a little bit better um, this weekend so I can film the first one. And the first one is will be a pattern. It's a free pattern, so I'll have it linked. Um, obviously, <laughs> or I wouldn't be making a, a tutorial, but it's from another person. Um, I won't like talk about it specifically just yet, but it's one that I, I made and a lot of people were interested in it. So, um, hopefully I can get that filmed this weekend and edited and up as soon as possible. So yeah, so just stay tuned for that and there will be tutorials eventually, <laughs> hopefully soon. All right, that's everything. I don't have a lot of crochet to show this week because this past weekend, uh, Devin was off both days. He was off Saturday and Sunday, which is odd. Usually he works every Saturday. So we took full advantage of him being off of work. And we were we were running around doing stuff from Saturday morning until Sunday night. Late Sunday night. <laughs> so, um, let's see here. Saturday we got up and we... Excuse me. I keep feeling around burp. I'm drinking a lot of water. Because I'm trying to be healthy, but whatever. <laughs> Saturday morning we got up pretty early. Um, seven something, I think. And, um, my hair, I, I wish I would fixed it. I didn't fix it good. I took a shower earlier, so it looks weird. But, uh, we got up early to drop off some stuff at the Earth Day event that I talked about doing. I didn't do good at all. I only sold one thing. But I'm not really bummed. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to sell a lot. And selling one thing's better than selling nothing. But, um, we dropped that stuff off and then we went to a park and we played. I had Kat, the girl that I babysit. So we went and played at the park for about an hour. And then we went to our local library to do a toddler um, activity thing that they were doing. Uh, they did like all kinds of bubble stations and just kind of fun educational type things for toddlers. So we hung up there for probably another hour doing all the little activities and stuff. And it was a lot of fun. And then after that, what did we do Saturday? We went back to the Earth Day thing and we actually walked around and shopped and, you know, just enjoyed it. I got a little sunburnt, but it since went away. Um, and then the little girl that I babysit, she decided, you know, she was going to stay the night with me. 
So we just hung out at home and did home stuff, you know? It was a lot of fun. We all hung out together and it's always fun when Devin's off work. I almost said Jesse. And then Sunday we got up early and we went to the aquarium. stayed there by the time we got back from there it was probably afternoon hours I'm not exactly sure but we um after that me and Devin and Jesse um we drove around forever getting pokeballs on Pokemon Go and we got a bunch of them and then we came home and just chilled as family and it was it's just a lot of fun to get out and be the three of us together because Devin usually works so much anyways crochet the reason I didn't crochet all weekend was because I was busy, so I was trying to say, and I got sidetracked. <laughs> but uh, I did finish one object, and I didn't work on anything else. <laughs> I was looking yesterday and today for another pattern to start, but I, I, nothing's hopping out at me just yet, so um, maybe I'll find something later. I know I want to work on some little stuff because I've been working on big things for so long that it's, it's kind of wearing me out. I want to work on some little instant gratification type projects, so I'll probably look up some more Christmas ornaments for Claudia's cow just to have some finished objects uh, that don't take forever. So my only finished object is the Friendly Elephant, which is a paid PDF, but it's free on her website. I'll link the project page below and you can go to the website through it by Callie Dahl. This is it. <laughs> the eyes are smaller than I wanted, but my, sa my big safety eyes, uh, I couldn't find bags for them, so I don't have any, I guess. But it's just a little elephant. It's got a tail. I think it's cute. It's made with um, an elf hook and Red Heart Super Saver petal pink and white. And then the eyelashes are made out of Red Heart Super Saver black. And I just split it into, um, you know, it's four plies. So I split it down to one and used it to stitch on. Just because I don't have any embroidery floss. So I just went ahead and used that to make the eyelashes. And it's got a little bit of hair up there. This is supposed to be a, uh, what is it called, commission, <laughs> but the person who wanted it has yet to message me back, so I think it's just going to be a stash piece that I keep for the next craft fair or whatever. It turned out cute, and it's fairly large, as you can tell. I mean, this is my hand. <laughs> um, I do wish I could have put bigger eyes on it, but it's still really cute, even with the little eyes. This didn't take much time at all. The longest thing was me finding a thing to put in the middle to make the head sturdy because it was real floppy without a spine <laughs> so it's got a dowel in it to it's like halfway in the stomach and halfway through the head to give it stability I learned that through Heidi H she does that with most of her doll patterns the big ones but yeah it's a cute pattern and it'll just go in my box for uh, craft fairs Oh, speaking of craft fairs, the one thing that did sell at the Earth Day event was my koala. And if any of you remember back way back in my early, like my second video when I was talking about that koala, I hated it because I thought it turned out so ugly. And apparently someone loved it. The, um, the woman who was selling my stuff for me, she said that the woman who bought it just loved it and said that she had to take it home with her. So she bought it. <laughs> and that surprised me. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe someone bought that ugly thing because I thought it was ugly, ugly, ugly. But she liked it, so... Alright, and that's my only finished objects. <laughs> I only have one active whip. I have a couple that I'm supposed to be working on, but I haven't. But my one active whip has been super snappy. Y'all already seen her. Whoop. She's been done for about a week, her body. I was starting on her sweater, but then the weekend hit, and I only did one row. I don't think I did a row. I think I chained it, and then I didn't get to finish it. But I got her face. I don't care if she had her face last week, but I got her face done. And these are crocheted eyes. I didn't put buttons just in case because I'm going to enter her in a fair, but then I might sell her. So if, if a kid gets it, I want it to have, um, you know, safe eyes. But yeah, and I finished her shoestrings. I can't remember if I had those done last week. But she is physically done. I just got to finish her clothes. And it's just a sweater and a skirt, I think. And uh, if you hear a noise, it's Jesse sitting in the living room watching TV. He's probably asleep, actually, because he's actually sleepy 
another. And that's all my whips. I am supposed to be working on the Christmas crochet along that Car Terry's hosting on her podcast, but I just haven't been feeling it. And I really think that it's corner to corner. I think corner to corner just isn't my thing because the grease crochet along I started it and didn't finish it I just got over it and the same thing with this Christmas one so if I don't get the oomph to finish it I may just make pillows out of the squares that I've already made and including the grease ones and just not doing any more corner to corners I just think they're not my thing I think my my main favorite thing to do is dolls and little like Christmas ornament type things occasionally an afghan and occasionally some kind of garment thing but I think I'm just a doll maker <laughs> and I'm going to stick with that for a little while. Um, I might pick it back up later this year. I may not. I don't know. We shall see. But Miss Super Snappy is a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots. Uh, and like I always say, there's usually a coupon code or something to get it cheaper or free. And I used an H hook. And her hair is Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte. Her cheeks and the soles of her shoes are Red Heart Super Saver Light Raspberry. The light purple is Red Heart Super Saver Orchid. The dark purple is Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst. And then her skin is all of this yarn light peach. And I really like that. It took almost a whole skein to do her skin, her legs, her arms, and her body. I have like a ball that big left. So just so you know, she takes a lot of yarn. <laughs> And yeah, that's all my crochet stuff. I did make a little crochet star for something I'm about to talk about, but I don't know if I did it right, so I'm going to wait and look at other people's to see if it looks the same. But uh, I'm not going to show it just yet. But yeah, that's, that's like I said, there's not a lot going on this week, and it's just because the weekend Devin was off, and I've been so busy with him. He is going to be off this weekend too, but we're not going to be as busy, so I'll probably will get some crochet time. And Saturday, I'm hoping to make that pattern tutorial. Uh, if I can find a babysitter. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so the last thing to talk about is I have some acquisitions and then I have some announcement type things. I'll show you my acquisitions. I just got these today. It's my Hobby Lobby, um, order that I talked about last week. Uh, and I ordered two skeins of I Love This Yarn Desert Glaze. It's an orange color. I got this to make a uh, magic heart hat with. I'm not sure it's the same color. That's why I don't like ordering online because it looks different online and then when you get it, it's a different color. Just like this next one I'm about to show you. This year I bought to make a face hugger, which is an alien. And it is toasted almond, but it's way darker in real life than it looked online. I got three of those. Two and there's the other one. <laughs> um, I might still make it. It's just gonna be a darker alien than it's supposed to be. And then I just got a Red Heart Super Saver white. Because I wanted the same brand white to go with the orange for the Magic Carp hat. Also in that order, this is a yard related, but I ordered some stamps. They're like planner stamps. I don't know if you can see them. The camera's really far away today. But they're just stamps. They came in a set together. Um, all the yarn was already 30% off and I had the 40% off coupon so I thought I'd go ahead and use it on something. So these were like $8 and then 40% off. No, they were seven something and then eight dollar or little forty percent off made them like four or something. And they're really cute. I can't wait to use them. I love stamps. But yeah, that's all my acquisitions, I think. Throw them back in my box. Um Yeah, so there's two I'm gonna make a hat with the orange and the brown is supposed to be an alien amigurumi that's gonna be pretty big. It's gonna be you know, it's pretty big amigurumi. Um, I'll probably go ahead and use that brown and then if I don't, you know, if, you know, it's not a big deal if it's not the exact same one. If I don't like it, I can just try to sell it. There's a game store uh, in my town, and it's not like a video game store. It's like a card game store. I'm sure someone there would want to buy it. So, yeah, that's everything. The only other thing is um, information type stuff. One is the Cake Cow that's going on right now that I'm host co-hosting with Mo from Unseen Strands. Uh, it's going on and people's already got some stuff finished on my Facebook group. I haven't hopped over to the Ravelry group yet to look. Uh, I'm a procrastinator. But I haven't even started anything for it. I've got yarn. You're actually propped up by one of them. <laughs> some Karen Cakes um, to make something with. I was going to make market bags, but I can't find a pattern that looks sturdy enough to actually carry something in. That isn't made out of, like, rope. So I, I want to find something to use one Karen Cake 
for. So if you have any good one Karen cake patterns, leave them below. That's not a shawl because I don't like making shawls. And I have no use for them here. No one I know uses them. Uh, yeah, all the information for that is on my Facebook group and on Moe's Ravelry group. So if you're interested in that, you can check out either of those. That'll be in the description box below. And what it is, is you use a caked up yarn to make anything you want. And you can enter it between now and um, October 14th. And you can win either a prize from me or from Mo or both if you enter both of them. And there's probably going to be multiple prizes given away on each platform. So if you're not a Facebook person, you can do the Ravelry one. If you're not a Ravelry person, you can do the Facebook one. Or you can do both. <laughs> either way. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is my giveaway for the yarn. Oh, I forgot to get it. But there's a video. I'll link it up in the... up there. <laughs> and, um, I'm giving away the Knit Crate yarn that Knit Crate sent me. I'm a Knit Crate ambassador. I just said that a lot of times. Um, I talk about it in that video. So if you're interested about that, you can check it out. But Knit Crate contacted me to be an ambassador for them. And they sent me some yarn. Uh, they're going to send me some, uh, crates. Knit Crates to review and to share with my viewers and to share coupon code which I'll pop it up and if you use the coupon code no catch your name 20 on your first crate order you get 20% off which is about $5 I'm pretty sure because it's $24.99 so 20% off that would be a couple pennies less than $5 and shipping is included in the price anywhere you're from all over the place <laughs> so it will be the same price there are four different crates to choose from not just the regular one but there's regular one a sock one and then artisan regular and artisan sock so there's a lot of options and uh i'll leave my link below too and if you click through that link um from today to 180 days from now if you buy anything through that link i will get a little percentage of it it's only two percent so it's, it's literally pennies but um it won't charge you anything extra. It comes out of what you pay Knit Crate and then they give me a little bit out of that. And it's just um, a motivation thing, to, you know, because the more I talk about their Knit Crates and spread the news and all that, the more people click on my links and buys it, the more money they make in the end. You know, they make way more money than I ever will off of it. So far, to be honest, I've made $12, <laughs> which is awesome. And because five of it or under will be going to Stephanie who won the, um, Facebook group 200th person giveaway. Every 100 people who join, I'm going to make a post. And out of all people who post on that, I'll randomly draw. And uh, that person will win a Ravelry pattern, five US dollars or under. So she won it, Stephanie. Um, and she's still deciding what pattern she wants. So when she contacts me and tells me what pattern she wants, I will use however much it is, five or under, of the Knit Crate money, which is in my PayPal, to buy her that pattern. So that's what I said in that video that I'll link above is that all the money that I do make from Knit Crate, I'm not going to keep it personally. I'm going to keep it for uh, the channel and slash Facebook group, the, the brand or whatever, the No Catching Name group. <laughs> um, oh, my brush just dropped something. But um, so, you know, that's $12 that I made from three people ordering a Knit Crate through with my coupon code. So I got $4 off of each of those orders. And, um, one of those was Lisa from Happy to Hook. <laughs> I seen it when it popped up and it, I saw her email and I was like, oh yeah, that's Lisa, she bought one. <laughs> but it was really cool. But um, anyways, uh, I will use that and there'll be like seven-ish dollars left in that account for the group, um, depending on how much her pattern is. And then every time anyone buys through my link or using my coupon code, it'll automatically go into that and that'll be the money that I use for the pattern giveaways and to buy giveaway stuff. If it ever accumulates more than seven dollars um as of right now all my giveaways are um of my own money and stuff you know except the knit crate yarn you know obviously they sent that to me for free and uh they tell me i can do whatever i want with it so um because that's not really my color scheme uh or it looks more like a shawl or something and like i said a few moments ago i don't like making shawls so i know whoever wins that will probably make something beautiful out of it but um it's just not for me Hopefully, maybe the next one will be. <laughs> but um, that was a totally random thing about the giveaway. But anyways, the link will be up there. And all the other links that I talked about will be in the description box if you're interested. Don't worry about it if you're not. Or if you already have a knit crate, don't feel bad because you didn't use my coupon code. I don't mind. Because like I said, this is personal money for me. It's going to be for the No Catchy Name community. Uh, it'll help fund, you know, like 
it will help fund pattern giveaways like it did with Stephanie. Uh, that's money that doesn't have to come out of my own pocket. It's coming out of the, you know, catchy name fund. So that's pretty cool. I think it's neat how, like, we're all, like, all of you guys are supporting that, you know? Does that make sense? Like, you guys bought that, so the money went into the account, and now I'm using that money for you guys. <laughs> I just think it's neat. Pretty sure Jesse's asleep because he's being quiet. I'm going to go check on him real fast. He's passed out. <laughs> all right. The next thing I wanted to talk about, <laughs> after all that babbling, is a girl named Kendra on the Facebook group. Uh, her Facebook name is KK. Uh, and I will link the group below if you're interested in this. She made a, um, a big flag shaped afghan for her son. He's a firefighter. So it's like, it's like the thin blue line one for cops, but it's red and black, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> for firefighters. Um, and she's to the point where she has to make the 50 stars. And she thought it would be a cool idea. She contacted me and I told her it was okay to post it on the group. If people from all over the United States would make the stars and send them to her. And she'd like, you know, like ideally she'd like to get a star from each um, state. All 50 states. Let me get the star. I got one up here. I made it. I don't know if this looks right though. I was going to ask her. <laughs> and I didn't move in the ends. But this is the star. It's a two row star. Super, super simple. Takes like... 10 minutes less than that and she wants 50 of these um so she made a post on the facebook group which i'll link below if you're interested go if you're not a member of the facebook group just join it and i'll accept your request as soon as i can um if i'm not busy it'll be right away and then she's gonna have a list of all the states that's already um said all people from different states that said that they would make one this one's coming from tennessee <laughs> um and I guess if she can't get all 50, she will probably, you know, take duplicate states. <laughs> so, um, I think it's a really neat idea because the blanket's not only going to be cool because his mom made it and because of what it means, but because of all the stars, you know, she's going to tell him that, you know, all these stars are from, you know, different states, different people out in the world, uh, took the time to make a star to s and send to her for her to put on her son's blanket. I think that's really neat. That's a really cool idea. Like, I hope more people want to do that after this because that's really neat. But yeah, I made it. It's just a two row. You have to use an H hook and Red Heart Super Savory Yarn. And it's two round pattern. Super duper easy. But yeah, it'll be linked below. And um, I, I can't pin that post because I got the cakewalk pin. But it'll be on there. You can probably just look up KK, K A Y K A Y, and it'll bring it up. Or uh, you could just scroll down and look because it's it usually gets bumped up a lot because there's a lot of activity on it. And I think that's everything. I'm gonna my notes. I think that's everything I want to talk about. I hate that this is such a short, excuse me, a short video. But I mean I don't have much to share. Uh, it's been a really busy weekend with my boys running around. This weekend will be a lot calmer, so I'm sure I'll get more crochet done. I would like to finish Miss Super Snappy's clothes close the poor thing <laughs> and then she will go in the closet in the box for my other fair stuff actually i'll have to get a new box because i'm pretty sure she's bigger than the whole box <laughs> and um i was gonna go hardcore and enter a lot of categories this year but i don't i don't want to like burn myself out i feel like lately i've had a lot of pressure not from the channel or you guys but from just life like i'm doing life stuff and then i'm like oh, i didn't crochet today i need to hurry and crochet something but I don't want to feel that way. I don't want to feel pressured to crochet. I want it to be my relaxing hobby, which is what it started out to be. And um, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do stuff when I want to. That's like the cr the uh, corner to corners. I'm not gonna fret about not finishing those because I just don't think corner to corners for me. I just, it's like not boring, but I just don't like taking the time because you have to mess with all the bobbins. It's just annoying. Maybe if I ever did a corner to corner blanket that was one solid color or like a a very good yarn or a strapping yarn or something it might be better but i don't know if i'll ever do that because i'm not a big fan of making afghans unless they're smaller ones but yeah i think that's about everything all the links will be below my instagram my ravelry my ravelry page and my facebook group all the links i talked about should be below if one of them's not just leave me a comment tell me which one i forgot and i will post it oh sometimes i get busy and forget and yeah hopefully next week will be a little bit more exciting and I will see you guys then, or probably before, in either cro crochet and chat, or maybe that tutorial. I don't know.
but I will see you guys soon in another video. Um, bye. <laughs>